hello everyone to another video of bridge pipe architecture uh, in this video i am going to discuss what is the ide which you can use while developing your software on bridge pipe so the basic thing which comes to mind is that you are going to ssh to a risk pipe uh, compute instance or you have a risk pipe instance and uh, you can use that but still you will have to ssh or if you have an sbc you will have to connect it through a uart you are to USB converter so I am going to use SSH over here and I am going to use uh, uh, I have many SBCs here because I am using a cloud uh, computing platform but here I am going to use uh, risk 5 vision 5 2 so I am using the private key and uh, just to confirm that it is the risk five architecture i am going to do lscpu yes so it is risk 564 and uh, it is running a uh, debian so let me just show you yeah so it is running debian trixie sid yeah so let's say you want to create some files uh, like uh, this hello world c over here but this is very convenient if you use the if you use the vim editor but uh, if you have a lot of files and you are working on a project it will not be very convenient for you to use this because then uh, it, it gets very difficult to uh, move around if you have a lot of files in your environment so for that reason vim is not very convenient Another option is that uh, you must have used the VS Code and in the VS Code there is an extension of remote development. So if I go to the extension and if I type here remote. Yeah so if, if you do that you will see that there is uh, a remote SSH over here and it shows that you can you can remotely access the ssh environment and there there can be other extensions too yeah so for this uh, extension to work uh, it it has to have all the architecture support in it but that is not the case for risk five architecture so let me just uh, show you so the the compute instance which I have used right here is the user at sf2-1 uh, I have saved it in my config file in the SSH I am going to do the same here I am going to connect to a host and it says select configured SSH host or enter user at host yeah so if I show uh, the log to you over here th this output tab so you can see that it has connected uh, via SSH here. So when you connect through SSH or this program include the Debian, GNU Linux system and stuff like that. And if you scroll it a little bit down, you will see that it is saying unsupported architecture risk 564. And uh, it has also given a couple of errors here. The remote host architecture is not supported. So you see this is not very convenient and the, and the reason for this is that if you go to the Microsoft uh, VS Code remote release there is already an issue which says unsupported architecture is 564 and uh, the reason for this is that uh, VS Code uh, which is uh, specifically the Microsoft VS Code is not an open source uh, program it is not uh, completely open source it is a proprietary software there is also another solution for this which is the vs codium which is the open source alternative of vs code so this is the page and if you want to install it you have to click it over here and then it will take you to the releases page of the github so here you can see there are a couple of architectures and um, so here i am using x86 and I am using the Debian based distro which is actually the Ubuntu 22.04 so this is going to be the file which I need 
I have already uh, installed this file and uh, I have already launched the VS Codium. So this is the VS Codium which I am using. The way you can uh, access the RISC-V through this IDE is that you have to install a remote extension which is the op open remote SSH uh, by GNP413 and then you have to do control shift P this will open the command palette and here you will have to connect to host so this is the same thing as that the uh, VS, VS code one you have to uh, type here the user and then you have to uh, type here the host name and then if you have a port so I'm going to do the same here user add accept to one so it has opened another window so here I am connected so if you go to the file explorer and open a folder here the folder right here is home user I'm gonna click on ok yes okay so here you can see there are a couple of files here this file runner gitlab runner is 64 hello world.c and you can also go to the editor or oh, not editor the ter terminal here and you can do the ls cpu so yes it is inside the risk 64 so this is a very convenient if you are going to develop your program on on it's by architecture and it is much much convenient than uh, the SSH access and using the Vim. So right now I am going to say that if, if you need access to uh, risk five SBCs, you can always come to the platform which I maintain, which is the Cloud Firewall CO. If you go to here, so if you go to this page, you will be able to see that Cloud Five provides services uh, regarding risk five compute instances so if you go to our services you will be able to see that there are a couple of services like CICD, direct sandboxing access uh, this actually is the SSH access so you can SSH inside the RISC-V uh, boards and if you are if you need to check the resources which I am providing you can go here and then you can go to the compute instance specification and here are all the RISC-V instances which we provide this uh, this is vn51 vn51 this vf1 actually indicates this is vn51 and vf2 or the vn52 then there are also the hi5 unleashed and can write board and there is also a mfi pioneer box uh, which uh, i am setting up right now and i will uh, add add that to the list and also the banana pi f3 and juniper board too so if you need access to risk 5 compute instance uh, in the cloud we can always go to this page and then you can click over here and then you can fill this form i will get this form via email so at this point uh, this service is free so another another thing about this is that if you are an open source uh, if you are an open source contributor and you are also a member of risk 5 international uh, you will always be able to get some compute instance for free so be sure to check this out and uh, this was all about the uh, RISC-V and RISC-V IDEs. Uh, I will see you in the next video.